This is about as good as one could hope to see. This is a historic day, a historic day for science and for all of us. Pharmaceutical companies are reporting stunning successes in recent COVID vaccine trials. And Pfizer is now seeking emergency use approval in the United States. We have what look to be, you know, two large clinical trials that show a phenomenal level of efficacy that no scientist would have ever predicted. But there are still concerns over protocols approved under Operation Warp Speed that have allowed vaccine trials to be fast-tracked. And there are questions about whether they will set precedent for other medical advancements. Pfizer's phase three trial results, which tested their vaccine's effectiveness in the general population, is a requirement for final FDA approval. What we want to see at the F Vaccine Advisory Committee is all the data. I mean, because there, there, there are going to be unknowns here. After several pharmaceutical companies had to halt their vaccine trials, Pfizer announced their vaccine had generated a 95% success rate with more than 40,000 participants. Moderna has reported similar results in the people who were given the vaccine within six months of being fast-tracked after pausing an earlier trial because four patients had severe adverse side effects that were not life-threatening. And now a third entry in the vaccine race this week, AstraZeneca, in collaboration with the University of Oxford, announcing a new option after achieving a 70% efficacy rate that they hope can rise to 90% with a simple adjustment. The new vaccines could be available as early as December. Most vaccines take about five years to develop, so the fast tracking of three vaccines vaccines in recent weeks is precedent setting. Both Pfizer and Moderna vaccines use a genetic recipe, a code, that triggers the body's immune system to make antibodies to attack the virus. And neither have reported any serious side effects from their latest trials. The vaccine from AstraZeneca uses a weakened version of the common cold virus and offers an easier distribution option. None have reported any serious side effects from their latest trials. But one of the biggest hurdles may still will be overcoming consumer wariness. I'm not going to be in a hurry to inject myself with something that I don't know how it's going to affect my body or my kids or my families. The country's leading infectious disease specialist is now working to quell those fears. I will take the vaccine and I will recommend that my family take the vaccine. Advocates are now asking that the vaccines be tested on people of all ages. The American Academy of Pediatrics is requesting children be added to vaccine trials too so they can reach the entire population as soon as possible. Despite some worries that the vaccines still haven't been tested long enough, Pfizer trial volunteer Andrew Rubin said he has confidence in the vaccine based on his experience. And I understand people's anxiety about this, but if you if you look at me and you look at my results, uh, hopefully that'll shed some comfort on, on the outcome here for people. The FDA will have an independent advisory committee review the vaccine applications. Then if if a vaccine gets FDA emergency use authorization, the CDC will continue to monitor side effects and any safety concerns. I'm promising you, your viewers, the American people, we will not cut corners when it comes to our ultimate assessment of these vaccines. Dr. Fauci says he's confident that an eventual vaccine rollout will be safe. We need to put to rest any concept that this was rushed in an inappropriate way. This is really solid. But more transparency will ultimately be the key to overcoming skepticism as COVID vaccines continue their race to the marketplace. Pfizer and two other vaccines striving to change everything as they become available in the weeks and months to come, landing in the record books as the fastest ever approved. Our request for emergency use authorization for our COVID-19 vaccine is now in the FDA's hands. Hey, NBC News viewers, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.